Hi there, my name is Bea and this is my colleague Alex. Uh, welcome to the first in our three-part series on how to tell data-driven stories using Import.io in partnership with our friends at Oxfam. Today we'll be looking at how we can get data from rich lists so we can help kickstart your findings on wealth distribution and inequality. Our choice of topic today was actually prompted by a study Oxfam did back in January which revealed how the poorest half of the planet have the same amount of wealth as the richest 85 people. If you want to find out more about this actual study, please listen to the interview with our Head of Research at Oxfam to find out more. What we're going to be doing today though is pulling data from the Forbes Rich List to show you just how easy it is to get data using Import.io. I'm now going to hand over to my colleague Alex, he'll be showing you the roots. Thank you very much B. So um, I'm going to tell you how to extract this list of the richest people in America using the Import.io browser. So as you can see, it acts just like a normal browser at the minute, um, full browsing capabilities. You can click on links, you can navigate forwards and backwards. But when we click the IO button, it transforms into a data extraction browser. You can see there's two workflow windows there, and this is what we'll be concentrating on in this episode. So we start by clicking on Let's Get Cracking. And now we need to choose the tool that we need to use. For this example, we're going to be using extractors, but later on in the series, we'll be looking at connectors. So we click on extractor, and the program asks, does the site require a login in order to get the data? Some data is behind logins, and uh, we're going to be looking at that uh, in the next episode. For now, we're going to click on no, it doesn't, and we're already there. So we click on I'm there and detect the optimal settings. Now, the program is looking at the source code of the website and trying to establish where the rows might be, and it's analyzing the data. So is the data you want to extract still in the browser? It definitely is. A quick note, clicking no simply enables JavaScript. Now, let's talk about this next page. We have three options, a single product page, a multiple search result page, or um, our beta feature, um, auto table extract. So imagine, if you will, a clothing website. If you have a product page for a pair of jeans, then it'll be known as a single product page. If you have a list of jeans with their prices, then it's a multiple search result page. If all of the data is in a table, then you can use our auto table extract feature, which will allow you to extract tables with one click of a button. For now, we're going to use the multiple search results. Click on that. And now we need to train our rows. Now, the rows define where the data is, and our columns, which we'll get onto next, defines what our data is. So we need one row for each result. And you can do this by clicking and dragging and highlighting through all of the data for one result, or use our tool to sort of, you know, it automatically suggests where the rows are. For now, we're just going to click and drag like so. Click on train rows or press enter. And you need to do this a couple of times, but don't worry, after a while, the browser will pick up on your training and it will do the rest for you, as it has done here. You can see it's gone down the whole list. Separate rows have separate colors, as you can see, and it variates between purple and a sort of turquoisey color. So we have all of our rows now, and now we need to add our columns, which define what our data is. So let's get a few columns now. Let's get the rank first, and we'll map this as a number. We have various column, uh, column fields, so for now we'll just use number. Click on done, and now it's just a case of point and click where the data is, and click on train again. And you'll probably find now that the browser will automatically pick up after one uh, selection. We'll add another column, and we'll make, make this one name. We'll name this column name. So again, just select the name of the person, and again it will go down the whole list, as you can see, extracting all of that data. Let's get a few more. Let's get net worth, the thing that we're really interested in. Again, going to the column field drop down menu, click on currency, click on done. And now the browser will automatically figure out that this is US dollars and click on train. As you can see, 72 US dollars. Obviously that's 72 billion US dollars, as I'm sure Bill Gates is worth more than 72 US dollars. Let's add a few more columns now. Let's get the age of these people. Again, we're going to go back to the column fields and use number, click on done, and click on train. Wonderful. And let's get one more. Let's get the source. So where they got their money from. Clicking on done, highlighting the word, click on train, and there you have it. 
in a matter of minutes, we've got this whole table of data into our data set. So we can click on I've got what I need. And now I'm done training. You can add another page. So if you wanted to go to page two and get 101 to 200 rank, you can do that. But to save time, we're just going to go straight to the data set now. Upload to Import.io and give the data a name. Let's call this Forbes 400. Click on OK. And now it just checks over all the data and then it will give you the opportunity to go straight to the data set. Show me the data takes you to our data set page, which is, a, what you're, which is what it's about to load, where you'll see your data. From here, you can then download it as an Excel file, HTML, JSON, and a CSV, or you can integrate it into Google Sheets or Excel, as well as uh, integrating with our client libraries, um, JavaScript, Python, etc. And B, it's back to you. Thanks a lot for that, Alex, and no thank problem. you for joining us. And I hope to see you at our next webinar on how you can start monitoring food prices in Africa. Happy data hunting. Bye for now.